Last week, our business manager, David, reached out to me and he told me that we had just booked a sponsored video by Wacom and Loop Deck. They're partnering together and they wanted me to make a video about using their tablet and the Loop Deck together. Now, I already own a Loop Deck CT right here, but I don't currently own a Wacom tablet. And David told me to watch out because one was currently being mailed to me. And yesterday in the mail, I got this. And I thought, what the heck is going on? And I read right here, Wacom Cintiq. This is not your average tablet. This is a top of the line touchscreen monitor that is also a tablet. I've got some building to do. Now, because this is both a monitor and an input device, it requires two plugs, an HDMI cable and a USB cable to send the video signal and to send the data itself. Okay guys, I've got everything set up and running here. In front of me, I have the Cintiq 22. There are different levels of Cintiq products. These are touchscreen monitors and the pro version goes all the way up to $2,500. Now this is the much more affordable version. This is the Wacom Cintiq 22. This one's currently $1,100. I'll tell you a little bit more about why you might want one of these in just a second. Let's quickly look at the Loop Deck CT I have over here on my left. In case you're unfamiliar with this product, it's basically a customizable touchscreen input device. And right out of the box, this thing can recognize what applications you have open and it will give you the most important options for you to make changes within that application. Of course, everything is customizable, but if you don't want to customize it, you basically can just plug it in and it works right out of the box. As you can see right here, I am in Google Chrome. And if I turn this knob right here, we can scroll up and down. You'll notice along the middle here, we have icons for a new tab, uh, Gmail, uh, WhatsApp, we have Twitter. If I hit the Twitter button here, it's going to open a new tab and Twitter will come right up. Again, all of this stuff is 100% customizable, but mine currently is not. I just plugged it in and it works. And as you can see, if I jump into Photoshop here, my Loop Deck will automatically change. And if I jump into Premiere, Loop Deck will automatically change. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'm going to show you why you might want a product like this. If I grab the brush tool here and I try to use my mouse to draw a line, as you can see, it's just a line and it's going to be whatever color and hardness I set that brush to. However, if I use something like this pen here, it has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. I can change the hardness or the thickness of this. I can change the opacity of it just by pressing a little harder or softer. This is going to give you the feeling of actually painting or tracing something, which would be literally impossible to do with a mouse. I mean, it just doesn't look anything like it does when you have something like this. On the back of this pin here, we have an eraser. And when I turn it around, it automatically switches to the eraser. And even the eraser has pressure sensitivity as well. So if I press really softly, it's going to make a small line there. And of course, all of this is customizable as well. I've been setting these settings on the right over here. Um, and then if I press really hard, it's going to get thicker and thicker and erase even more. On this pen, we have two physical buttons on the side as well. These can be customized to do anything you want, but the basic premise here is that if you get good at using this, you won't have to use a mouse, especially when you're in programs like Adobe Photoshop. Now let's move over here to a real file. Here is a picture of my happy son. And uh, let's say I wanted to do some retouching to this image. One thing that you're gonna be doing a lot of is zooming in and out. Now, if we look over at the loop deck, that automatically has an option for zoom in, zoom out right here on the left. You can also use the command and spacebar here and you can see my cursor becomes a magnifying glass and I can move from right and left here and that's going to zoom in and out. I can hold the spacebar here and you can see the hand and I can then move around using the pen touching the screen like this. Now, the benefit of using the Loop Deck with the Cintiq is it allows you to quickly reach menus that would normally take a couple of clicks, or it might take a little bit longer if you have to search for them. For example, if I wanted to change the hue and saturation of this image, I could just click right here and rotate this knob and I can add saturation or make it black and white just by turning that knob. If I wanted to do some retouching on this image, I could find my tools here on the loop deck, like for instance, the patch tool. 
and I could start selecting some of these blemishes and removing them from the shot. And of course, one of the best ways to take advantage of the pressure sensitivity of these pens is to do dodging and burning. What I'm gonna do is create a new layer here, and I'm going to fill that layer with 50% gray. Now I can switch between the dodge and the burn tool on the loop deck, and we can darken and lighten different parts of this image. Now, obviously I've gone way too far here, but on the loop deck in the upper left, we have opacity layer. So I can turn this knob here and we can determine how much of that dodging and burning we want to show up. I feel like a little bit looks good like that. And I can toggle that on and off right here. I think that looks a lot better. Now I've been testing out this setup for a while now. I've been jumping between different applications. I tried to do some editing in Adobe Premiere with the pen and I am not very good with it. I find that my hand kind of blocks a lot of these clips down here. I think it's personally easier to do it with the mouse. Color grading, on the other hand, could be done with the pen. If I go to Window, Workspaces, and Color, it's gonna open up different windows here for us to edit. And over here on the right, you'll see our Lumetri color. I can use the pen and I can just grab all these sliders to make my adjustments. Or you could use the loop deck as well. All of the options that you see in Lumetri color show up over here. And it just makes getting to certain options a little bit faster when they're right in front of you and you're not having to click through multiple menus to find them. Now, for me personally, using the pen is obviously way easier when it comes to drawing than trying to use a mouse. But if you're trying to navigate through applications and you're going through menus and everything, I think using a mouse is easier. But if you have a pen in your hand and you're constantly moving over to the mouse, it's doable, but it's not quite as easy as having all of those menus right in front of you. And I think that's where the loop deck really shines because whatever your style of editing is, whatever tools it is that you use, you can customize that to your personal loop deck and they're basically right under your left hand at all times. I don't know anyone that uses a pen with their right hand and a mouse with their left hand, but I know a lot of people with this setup right here, they're using the pen with their right hand or their dominant hand, and then they're using their keyboard and a loop deck with their left hand. This is the loop deck config software. This is what allows you to customize what every single button does in every different application on your computer. They've also just recently updated the firmware and they have a really cool new feature. Up here, you'll see marketplace. And this is where you can download profiles, plugins, and icon packs created by other loop deck users. Maybe you like the idea of customizing your loop deck, but you don't really wanna spend the time doing it. Well, what you can do here is find someone else who has already done the work for you. Before filming, I tested out this Photoshop profile here created by Jenny. It's totally free. And basically Jenny has done all of the customization for you and all you have to do is click install and boom, your loop deck will start working like hers as soon as you jump into Photoshop. Now, obviously neither of these products are for everyone. The Cintiq itself is really just for digital artists. If you find yourself doing things with a mouse and keyboard and you wish you could draw on your screen, this product might be perfect for you. But if you're doing something like video editing, using a pen may slow you down. Similarly, I don't think the loop deck is for everyone either, but if you're the type of person that enjoys tinkering and customizing things and you like speeding up your workflow, the loop deck could be a real game changer for the way you get work done on your computer. So if you're the type of user who's been looking for products like this, check out the link in the description below. For the first time ever, these products are being sold in a bundle together so you can save money. And I do think they really work well together. You can keep the pen in your right hand or in your dominant hand and using the other hand, go through those menus much more quickly than you ever could with a mouse.